Don't talk to me. I am trying to think what I'm going to do. Well, quiet! Pleasure, sir. Welcome to our humble abode. Not too humble, I hope. I'm expecting that. Oh, of course. Gentlemen, sir. After you, sir. Glad you could make it. Where the hell have you I am sorry. Trouble at home. Oh, never sir, mind. There, 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 Come along. There, sir, we've, General, we've got, we've... I'd like you to meet our curator, David Lang. I'm delighted to meet you, sir. Of course you are. Right through here, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a great moment for America. And for one very special lady, Whistler's mother. <laughs> and she's here today thanks to our great and good benefactor. Will you join me in saluting a soldier, philanthropist, loving father, and an extremely generous patron of the arts, General Newton. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I am not a traditional art lover. I don't know the difference between a Picasso and a car crash. But I love my country. I can't stand the idea of a bunch of Frenchies owning America's greatest painting. Let's get on with it. Welcome home, Ma. Speech. Congratulations, David. And Dr. Bean's speech about the uh, painting. Uh, uh, yes, of course, the speech. Now, Doctor, try to keep it below an hour. And if there could be one joke in it, that would be nice. Good morning, America. Couldn't give a flying monkey about isms and, uh, oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't have to go on for long. Just, Dr. Just, Bean, just, we're ready just, for you. Just write this, just, 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 just. And now, uh, for the second highlight of our day, uh, Dr. Bean, the great English art scholar, is here to speak for a few minutes, not too long, Doctor, <laughs> on the subject of our new purchase. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. Bean of the National Gallery of England. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hello. 
I'm Dr. Bean, <laughs> apparently. And, and my job is to sit and look at paintings. Just him and the painting. Um, so, um, what have I learnt that I can say about this painting? Um, well, well, firstly, it's quite big, which is excellent. Mm -hmm. Because if it was really small, you know, microscopic, then hardly anybody would be able to see it, which would be a tremendous shame. Um, secondly, and I'm getting quite near the end now of this analysis of this painting. Secondly, um, why was it worth this man here spending 50 million of your American dollars on this portrait? And, 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 and the answer is, um, well, this picture is worth such a lot of money because it's a picture of Whistler's mother. And as I've learned by staying with my best friend, David Langley and his family, families are very important. And even though Mr. Whistler was perfectly aware that his mother was a hideous old bat who looked like she had a cactus lodged up her backside, <laughs> he stuck with her and even took the time to paint this amazing picture of her. It's not just a painting. It's a picture of a mad old cow who he thought the world of. And that's marvellous. Well, that's what I think. <laughs>
on the fifth floor east wing. Right, uh, just take the elevator up. Uh, oh! Just... Right. Ah! Oh! I'm so... Just... Please, just stay here and do nothing. If you do nothing, nothing can go wrong. I've got to take care of my family now. <laughs> 